U.S. $300 billion a sixth generation fighter jet marks a significant milestone in military technology. With unparalleled stealth, speed, and sensor technology abilities, these aircraft are poised to redefine the modern warfare landscape. Although this cutting-edge aircraft is quite expensive, it showcases its remarkable capabilities and the potential impact it may have on the future of warfare. The sixth-generation fighter jets of the U.S. are the epitome of airborne warfare technology. These jets have numerous state-of-the-art attributes designed with great precision to assert dominance in the skies. Their qualities make them a formidable asset in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat scenarios. Join us as we delve into the thrilling world of the U.S. 300 billion hour sixth-generation fighter jet. The sixth-generation fighter jets have immense potential to reshape the dynamics of international conflict. They can maintain air superiority in contested airspace, a game-changer influencing ground operations and maritime security. Nations that possess these aircraft gain a substantial advantage in projecting power and safeguarding their interests. The Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program is a crucial part of the aerospace revolution, which aims to secure the next era of American air supremacy. The NGAD boasts of advanced stealth technology that allows it to operate seamlessly even in highly contested environments, where it can easily evade detection by radar. Its superior stealth capabilities are achieved through advanced materials and design techniques that make detecting aircraft challenging for radar systems. This technology enables the fighter jet to undertake critical missions that would have been impossible with conventional aircraft. Furthermore, the fighter's survivability is enhanced by its ability to operate in high-threat environments, making it an invaluable asset on the battlefield. One of the key advantages of these aircraft is their exceptional speed and agility. With the ability to reach impressive speeds, they can maneuver quickly and easily perform evasive actions. This provides a significant edge in evading threats and executing tactical maneuvers in combat scenarios. Speed and agility make these aircraft highly effective in various contexts, from air-to-air -air combat to reconnaissance missions. The sixth-generation fighter jet is an incredible engineering and technological advancement feat. It boasts the most advanced radar and sensor technology, providing pilots with unparalleled situational awareness. With its cutting-edge features, it can enhance target identification and tracking capabilities to an unprecedented level. Its advanced sensors ensure that pilots have access to a wealth of real-time information, making it easier to make informed decisions and react quickly to any situation that may arise. The avionics suite of the new fighter aircraft represents a remarkable breakthrough in aerospace technology. Equipped with advanced sensors and targeting systems, the fighter can detect and track targets located on the other side of the planet with unprecedented accuracy. Its state-of-the-art armament suite enables it to execute surgical strikes on distant targets with devastating precision. The fighter's stealth suite is designed to provide maximum concealment, making it virtually undetectable to enemy radar and other detection systems. This advanced technology ensures the aircraft can operate undetected, even in the most hostile environments. In addition, the fighter jets are built with the capability to operate as part of an interconnected warfare system, enabling seamless and instantaneous information exchange with other military assets. This integrated approach to warfare ensures that every unit in the networked force can access vital information in real time, allowing for better decision-making and enhanced situational awareness. Also, the sixth-generation fighter jet is a remarkable achievement in military aviation technology, providing pilots with the tools they need to execute complex missions with precision, speed, and effectiveness. By leveraging the power of technology, these fighter jets can work as a cohesive unit on the battlefield, increasing their effectiveness and overall impact. The NGAD program boasts a remarkable avionics suite that comprises advanced technologies that enhance the aircraft's capabilities. 
One of the standout features of the NGAD avionics suite is the active electronically scanned array, AESA radar. This technology is a significant advancement in airborne radar systems. It is integrated into electronically configured smart skins to allow rapid scanning, spherical coverage, high power, immunity to electronic warfare, and enhanced performance against stealthy targets. The AESA radar technology provides the aircraft with unmatched situational awareness capabilities, allowing it to simultaneously detect and track multiple targets. In addition to the AESA radar technology, the NGAD program incorporates stealth capabilities and adaptive cycle engines. These technologies are embedded in the aircraft's elongated blended fuselage, designed to defy physics and enable it to perform complex maneuvers with agility and speed. The integration of these advanced features enhances the aircraft's stealth capabilities, allowing it to operate in highly contested and complex battle spaces while maintaining a high degree of situational awareness. Also, the NGAD program represents a major breakthrough in the field of air dominance operations, providing fighter jets with unprecedented capabilities and significantly enhancing their effectiveness on the battlefield. The integration of advanced technologies like the AESA radar system and stealth capabilities is a game changer for air dominance operations, enabling fighter jets to operate with greater precision, speed, and agility in even the most challenging environments. The NGAD stealth technology is another critical feature of the aircraft's avionics suite. The aircraft's blended fuselage design and advanced stealth coatings make it virtually invisible to radar detection. The stealth technology is designed to reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section, making it more difficult for enemy radar systems to detect and track the aircraft. This capability enhances the aircraft's survivability and enables it to penetrate deep into enemy territory undetected. The NGAD adaptive cycle engines are a groundbreaking technology that provides the aircraft with unmatched speed, range, and fuel efficiency. The engines are designed to adapt to the aircraft's mission requirements, allowing it to operate efficiently in various operational environments. This technology enables the aircraft to operate at supersonic speeds, providing it with the agility and speed necessary to outmaneuver and outpace enemy aircraft. The NGAD avionics suite is a testament to the advanced technologies and engineering capabilities of the United States military. The suite's features, including the ASA radar, stealth technology, and adaptive cycle engines, provide the aircraft with unparalleled capabilities and make it a true war-defining wonder. The U.S. Air Force pursued advanced technologies for its NGAD program, focusing on developing new propulsion systems like variable cycle engines. These engines were designed to operate efficiently across different flight regimes, including subsonic, transonic, and supersonic. The technology involved additional airstreams that could be added or removed, variable bypass ratios, and reconfigurable intake or exhaust nozzle geometry. NGAD also researched advances in very low observable VLO shaping and materials to minimize detectability on radar and other sensors. This included designing the aircraft and developing techniques for managing thermal signatures. The program explored advanced weapons, including directed energy weapons that used high-powered lasers or microwaves for precise target damage. NGAD also investigated techniques for managing manned-unmanned, teaming with resilient networks and high autonomy through artificial intelligence, enhancing situational awareness and decision-making. Recent developments in aircraft engine technology resulted in more advanced versions of General Electric and Pratt and & Whitney engines. Utilizing adaptive elements, these iterations showed significant improvements in thrust and fuel efficiency across various flight regimes. The benefits extended beyond flight performance, aiding in better exhaust thermal management, crucial for advanced infrared search and track IRST sensors. 
In the realm of stealth technology, it is likely that substantial advancements have occurred since the F-35's design nearly 20 years ago. Flight control systems could replace traditional stabilizers, and the miniaturization of sensors and communication technology facilitated embedding sensors and conformal flush apertures. Advances in modeling, simulation, manufacturing techniques, and the use of new materials further enhanced shaping and aerodynamics. The arsenal under development included advanced long-range air-to-air missiles like the Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, JATM, Raytheon's Peregrine Concept, and various standoff air-to-surface and hypersonic weapons. Moreover, the emergence of more powerful engines, efficient generators, and advancements in miniaturization meant that directed energy weapons, such as lasers, were no longer considered impractical. Theoretically, allocating more power to these weapons became feasible, opening the door for further development. The NGAD program creates a sixth-generation fighter aircraft that can replace the F-22 Raptor. The program's primary objective is to develop a new fighter that can achieve air superiority despite advanced integrated air defense systems and fighter aircraft, including the Sukhoi Su-57 and China's emerging inventory of stealth fighters. To meet this objective, NGAD is taking a family of systems approach to create a new manned stealth fighter design that works seamlessly in combat with uncrewed assets. This fighter will feature advanced technologies to integrate and communicate with uncrewed drones, creating a more effective and lethal combat team. The NGAD approach is highly innovative and allows for easier upgrades in both software and hardware, along with accelerated testing and validation of multiple functions. By working together, the fighter and uncrewed assets can extend the reach of their sensors and weapon systems while also increasing survivability. The fighter's sensors can detect and track targets from a greater distance, while the uncrewed assets can carry out surveillance and reconnaissance missions, providing the fighter jet with valuable intelligence. The NGAD program is expected to present advanced, unpredictable and evolutionary elements for the future of air combat and the warfighting domain. The fighter will likely feature advanced weapons, sensors and stealth technology, making it a formidable opponent in any air combat situation. Since its inception, the NGAD program has undergone several strategic changes and updates regarding its exact aim and practical components. In early 2015, during congressional testimony, the Pentagon introduced plans for the Aerospace Innovation Initiative. This DARPA-led program was designed to produce a semi-joint air platform prototype to replace the Navy's F-A-18 and Air Force's F-22 with a next-generation fighter. The Next Generation Air Dominance program has undergone a significant transformation over time. Initially, it was solely focused on replacing existing fighter aircraft. However, as the program progressed, the Air Force and Navy conducted separate development analyses for their respective fighter replacement programs. Despite this, there is still an anticipation of shared component commonalities between the platforms. In addition, discussions pertaining to the human crewed NGAD aircraft have encompassed the aspiration to integrate payload, range, and capability characteristics reminiscent of other types of Air Force aircraft. This means that the NGAD program is not just about replacing existing fighter jets, but also about incorporating the latest technological advancements and capabilities into the new aircraft. The focus is on creating a versatile and capable platform that can serve multiple purposes and adapt to different mission requirements. The NGAD's most important milestones in the program's development occurred in September 2020, when the Air Force announced the successful flight of an NGAD demonstrator aircraft. However, this event's mission, capabilities, and design elements remain classified and are not publicly available. The Air Force awarded $975 million in contracts to five companies, including Boeing, GE Aviation, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Pratt & Whitney in August 2022 for propulsion prototypes, 
These contracts, signed under the Air Force's Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion NGAP program, are expected to contribute to the NGAD manned platform engine system. In March 2023, Air Force officials discussed their notional plan for the NGAD program. The plan involves an initial deployment of 200 manned aircraft platforms and 300 F-35s, each equipped with two unmanned Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. This would create 1,000 autonomous wingman units, enhancing the Air Force's capabilities in modern warfare while maintaining air superiority. The NGAD program is a crucial step for the Air Force as it explores innovative approaches to meet the challenges of modern warfare. This program is being developed to ensure the Air Force can maintain its edge over adversaries and effectively carry out its mission. In May 2023, the Air Force released a classified contract solicitation for Engineering and Manufacturing Development (EMD) for the NGAD manned fighter platform. The Air Force intends to sign a deal by 2024. While the major prime military aircraft manufacturers are all considered contenders for the bid, details surrounding a possible producer or the aircraft itself are currently unknown. The NJD program is a top priority for the Air Force, and it is committed to ensuring that it has the best technology and equipment to maintain air superiority in modern warfare. The program has been on a steady upward trajectory in funding since its inception. It initially appropriated $18.2 million for research and development and concept exploration in FY15. Despite a dip in funding in the following years, the NGAD appropriations have steadily increased, surpassing the $1 billion mark in FY22. The Air Force has set a goal of beginning NGAD production by the end of this decade, but experts predict that full-scale manufacturing may only occur in the 2030s due to the program's complexity. According to the latest budget request for FY24, the White House has asked for $2.3 billion, a significant increase of nearly $670 million from FY23. The projected total for the five-year Future Years Defense Program is over $22 billion. The budget request outlines detailed plans for developing and integrating NGAD demonstrative prototypes, demonstrating a strong commitment to the continued advancement of this critical program. As of 2023, the Air Force announced its plan to procure 200 notional 6th generation primary NGAD aircraft and 1,000 CCA platforms. However, these figures are tentative and may change based on budgetary constraints, production capabilities, and operational requirements. When considering the NGAD program's final production number, Looking at the Air Force's 195 F-22 aircraft as a fighter replacement intent is essential. However, the integration of unmanned CCA components with the manned NGAD platform may result in a lower requisite number of primary aircraft. The NGAD program's development and outlook are critical to national security and the Air Force's continued effort to modernize its fighter fleet will undoubtedly play a significant role in shaping the future of air dominance. While the U.S. Air Force has not publicly discussed the feasibility of NGAD exports, it is unlikely that the technology will be marketed outside U.S. borders. The program involves sensitive strategic and technological advancements that could pose a security risk if shared with other countries. Moreover, the high price point of the NGAD program would eliminate any interested foreign buyers. The NGAD project represents the Air Force's capital effort to evolve its most advanced and expensive fighter program into the manned, unmanned teaming frontier. The project's success could significantly impact the Air Force's future engaged procurement outlook and budget request as the program continues to reflect the significance of this enterprise. While the projected average unit cost is unclear, officials have noted that the price tag will be enormous, with estimates for the NGAD manned platform reaching the hundreds of millions of dollars range. 
Though the feasibility of NGAD exports has yet to be publicly discussed, foreign sales are unlikely. NGAD's high price point would eliminate any interested buyers, and its sensitive strategic and technological nature suggests the program will only be marketed within U.S. borders. The NGAD project defines the Air Force's capital effort to evolve its most advanced and expensive fighter program into the manned or unmanned teaming frontier. The Air Force's future NGAD procurement outlook and budget request are expected to continue to reflect the significance of this enterprise. In September 2020, Dr. Will Roper, the U.S. Air Force acquisition executive, made a significant announcement. He revealed that the U.S. Air Force had flown a full-scale demonstrator of the NGAD program. The news generated a lot of buzz, suggesting that the program was moving much faster than previously thought. The Congressional Research Service, CRS, has also suggested that the first flight of the NAD might have occurred as early as August 24, 2020, based on the movements of senior DOD officials. However, there is still some debate about what exactly this flight means. According to some experts, it was not an actual flight test, but a modeling and simulation bench test. Alternatively, new sensors, communications, or stealth capabilities could be flown on an airborne test bed. It is possible that this was an X-plane prototype, which could eventually evolve into the NGAD fighter. Regardless, the use of the word demonstrator strongly suggests that the testbed or X-plane angles are the most likely scenarios. This approach could also mean that the U.S. Air Force is exploring an approach that involves the development of multiple aircraft types to cater to diverse mission requirements. The strategy is in contrast to the traditional approach of building a single platform that can perform all tasks. The plan is to operate 200 NGAD fighters in tandem with 300 F-35 Lightning IIs, according to Secretary Lieutenant Colonel Frank Kendall. This creates a formidable air dominance strategy that capitalizes on the strengths of both 5th and 6th generation fighters. The NGAD program, a next-generation fighter jet initiative, is set to revolutionize air combat capability with advanced technology, including the integration of robotic wingmen to support pilots. The United States has committed a massive $300 billion budget to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet, which is expected to become the centerpiece of its air dominance strategy. By adopting a commonality approach, the NGAD program aims to simplify maintenance tasks in the field, ensuring efficient operations and facilitating software updates, making the jet more agile and effective in combat situations. With these cutting-edge features, the sixth-generation fighter jet will undoubtedly be a game-changer in the aviation industry. In light of the recent leaps in military technology, it's not hard to imagine the upcoming generation of fighter jets soaring beyond Earth's atmosphere and leading the charge in battles that extend beyond our planet. As we look to the future, it's clear that we can no longer ignore the potential of warfare in space. The U.S. $300 billion sixth-generation fighter jet is a crucial investment in ensuring that the United States stays ahead of the curve and maintains its position as the leader of the free world. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.